I realize it's the way of mind, you're always thinking and doing things. But the way of mind, uh, as we know it in the body, life comes in. You're always active. And so active because of the chelation. Even, even in the Arahant, they're, they're active because of the chelation that he had before, as he set up the situation. Because the situation has been set up by the chelators, so even in the Arahant, these things still go on in the same way. Although he, he no longer has uh, the same tendency, or no, has none of the tendencies coming from the chelators then, because they're all gone. I, uh, I'm trying to uh, to find, you know, sometimes uh, when when there's a sound, you know, uh, there's just a sound, just something accurate. So uh, is it the sankara that puts together some memory and sound and things like that, and that? But what gets out activated actually? And what feeling. is it? Hmm? The feeling. The thing is, you can say a sort of scenario, perhaps. The sound comes in, that's received by Vinyana. That's the bare sound. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's compared with, with, uh, Sanya. Hmm. That brings up the nature of the sound, and it also, uh, it is a rendered feeling. Is this something I like or not? Or what, what is the associated context of this? Is it what's the feeling to, tone of it? Is it pleasant or painful or what? Yes, but this doesn't aggravate. There's just the feeling. I can see the feeling, the sound that uh, is produced by this. No, but the aggravation is the feeling. Then another feeling, yes. Yeah. But there, there must be some, some step in between. There's the feeling of the sound itself. No, it's the not unpleasant the sound. feeling or unpleasant feeling. No, no, it's, it's, the thing is, it's very fast. It's almost electronically fast. Yes. I mean, it goes goes through through feeling, recognition, and then uh, it goes uh, through Vinyana, mm. knows it. There's recognition of Sanya, mm. and uh, feeling to test, test it against past experience. And the point is that with one sound like that, it probably goes through many, many times in the mind. Mm. Mm. It builds up, but the thing is, if if a situation is familiar, like the cock, cock, the, the mm. chickens mm. talking, okay. um, if there's something familiar like that, mm. then the whole situation is all built up in in memory, in, in some yard, mm. and the whole thing comes up from the past. That will then predispose the the uh, mind to bring up the feelings associated with that mm. aggravation or whatever it is mm. um, and then the thoughts arise the thoughts arise mm. uh, and those are the prime ones thinking what shall we do with it uh, and then one reacts mm. Mm. the mm. reaction takes place and that's where it comes from the thing is, it will depend on the whole set of circumstances when it comes up like that. But at times you get some sort of, uh, for instance, if one's doing the practice and one's very calm, mm. Mm. well that's a different condition when it comes a bit agitated. Mm. Mm. When it's a bit agitated and the sound comes up, then, oh, I think that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whereas if one's very calm like that, I just noticed it and think, oh, it's just mm. chicken. Mm. <laughs> I can see it when it goes on. It's a different set of circumstances. Mm. Mm. This is the thing, it's, the thing one has to see is how the mind is all the time changing. Mm. Mm. Um, I remember seeing in, in England once, so uh, in the evening, there uh, were sort of flies come up. Mm. There are hundreds of them just flying in the air. And they form patterns all the time, changing mm. about. It's like the shit is like that. Mm. All the time, all the conditions going in. Mm. The conditions are like those slides. Mm. <laughs> they just form up the pattern of the shit at any one moment. Mm. And when you get a different set of circumstances, you get a different form of the shit. Mm. 
So, but uh, let me ask this, uh, the function of the Sankara then in, in this in this all about. It, it puts together the feeling and then um, Sanya or, or the, the Sankara will then uh, start adding to this. Uh, you know, it went on sea if that thing is being like to that uh, size is being like the chitta, that's mm-hmm. the Sankara is doing it. Uh, when when they one thinks about it and one one doesn't really take it as that 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 experience, mm. Mm. but when any any addition to that, mm. where one sees it in relation to something else, mm. or one sees it uh, uh, sees some dhamma in it, mm. or or one wishes it is this or wishes it was that, mm. that's all sankara is coming up. Sankara is always come up and modify or they change it, they mm. get into it, so to speak. Mm. To begin with, it's just experience. Yeah? Mm. Mm. And does it uh, arise at Seda now? Does it experience? Yes, definitely. Seda now is the test. Tender. When we get some sensation coming in, we test it against Seda now. Pleasant, painful, or neutral. Mm. And in what way pleasant, painful, or neutral? Because there are many, many forms mm. of it. And pleasant, painful, or neutral is just a broad, broad covering of it. Mm. But there are all sorts of different painful feelings and pleasant feelings. Mm. Mm. Neutral feelings, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm. 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 It's so complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, functioning. I mean, the thing is, that well, you've only got the five factors. Uh, the the scope of these is enormous. I mean, the the uh, conditions that can come up into them are enormous too. You've got the five volumes of the Patana to explain it all. I've never, never read Five them. volumes of Sati Patana? No, Patana. Patana. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the, uh, there, there, the, the mm-hmm. fifth book of the Abhidhamma. Oh, the last yeah. book of the Abhidhamma. Five volumes. Of it. it goes into all the relationships. The, it's, it's like a permutation and combination of the different types of consciousness. Mm-hmm. And the Chitasikas and the, yes. you know, all the things. How did you do it? You have some um, samadhi, it must, must be samadhi best mm-hmm. in order to look at the chitta and how it functions. Mm-hmm. Because it's it mm-hmm. so fast. Sanya can do that. Sanya. But Sanya is a, there's no, I mean, for Pocatechi. You have to be kind of calm in order to look at it. To see the way the chitta works. Uh, um, this is different. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I'd say the first thing one must understand is the meaning of the five khandas, mm-hmm. each of the five khandas, mm-hmm. what they mean. Mm-hmm. If one understands their function clearly, mm-hmm. then you can see something of the way it works. Mm-hmm. Because you've got, what have you got? You've got the five khandas, you've got the senses, mm-hmm. six senses, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, you've got the body as the base. Mm-hmm. And you, you put these together and you can start to see in some way it functions. No, well the only other thing you can do is to uh, go back and look. Mm-hmm. Uh, something happened or some event and then you can ask, well, what did I do there? Mm-hmm. How did it work? Mm-hmm. And you want to probe like that. Mm-hmm. Much if you've got a sewing machine, you want to know how the thing works. Turn the handle and you have a look and it goes up and down and it goes this way. And it goes again and it goes again and again and again. And again. <laughs> they find out how it works. <laughs> oh, this function is so fast. I, I can see only, I mean, for this uh, ordinary guitar. Yeah. All I yeah. can see is just only some kind. Yes. Just, that's the easiest. To see the whole of it functioning like that, yes, that's difficult. Oh, yeah. Very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. But the thing is, at first one must get the 
about the understanding of how these five countries fit together. Mm. That's the uh, Sutta Maya Panna and Sutta Maya Panna, mm. the wisdom of learning and thinking about it. Mm. There are then the set called Bhava and Maya Panna. Mm. When you speak about perception, perception, is that sankara? The word perception, no. If anything, for some perceptions, we know. Uh, word perception in the Oxford Dictionary is given as the the inner seeing or experiencing or whatever kind of. It's uh, Plato's cave. That's the meaning of perception. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, because of that, if you look, the only one that fits that is Vinyana. Mm-hmm. Not that there's only that's Sanya. Sanya is totally one. Mm-hmm. Because Vinyana mm-hmm. is the, the receiver, receiving internal. Mm-hmm. It's internal receiving and accepting that it's there. And that's the nearest you can get to perception. In fact, everything we know is perception. Really, the functioning of the mind. Everything. Yeah. I think it's it's like uh, true mindfulness is a guardian on the door of the chitta. Yeah. So whatever comes in through the eye, your nose, yeah. tongue, body, whatever yeah. comes in. Yeah. The guardian knows it. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it all comes into one place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you've got mindfulness there, you're mindful of everything. Mm. Mm. No question. Mm. And the experience of that is an experience of being completely integrated, mm. uh, feeling of calm, mm. very distinct calm. But there's thinking going on, there's uh, seeing, hearing, the senses are going on all right. One just knows everything. Mm. You feel as though you can know everything all around. Mm. Uh, but I mean, in fact, what you know is whatever comes in. Mm. Usually it doesn't last very long. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know that's said too, but what we're not trying to difficult is to see how I'm creating that space. Yes. You know, what, what to do, because I fear when I do the other one, which creates the tension, it's like I'm following the kind of instructions I just got to the breath, but somehow I do something there, which is not quite right. And I think it goes towards the direction of of not wanting what's there. So, mm-hmm. And I feel when I, when I include the whole thing first, like my mental feeling, my, my kind of situation and sitting or whatever. Yeah. To kind of go to that and then find in that the breath. Oh, it's fully dropping. Then, then that mindfulness comes. Yeah. And then it, the other things reduce by itself and I come more and more to the breath. But the probably, <laughs> my guess is the uh, center of uh, real consciousness is still usually it's up in the head here mm. and when it's up in the head it's uh, you get tension mm. like it. Yeah. when it drops it to the heart mm. you get more trouble to sit there yeah. and it's probably dropping to the heart mm. Mm. but it may not be recognized because one's conditioning is to think of it as one thinks up here mm. and believes mm. one thinks up here is that mm. A small person up here thinking mm-hmm. <laughs> and seeing everything. But um, uh, when it goes right, <coughs> the tendency is to drop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you'll find mm-hmm. after time you just go straight down there. There's no need to mm-hmm. bother about the breathing. You can just go straight oh. down. And just stay with the breathing now. You use the breathing to go down to start with, yeah. but after a time, when you've got more used to it, it's not difficult to just go down straight down. Put your mind down there. Yeah. 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 Yeah
just there and yeah. on the sensations or on the feeling? Oh, no, don't go to feeling too much. Sensation. Be careful feeling because you got feeling. You get a so feeling of a lump there. Oh, okay. Not good. So sensation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just, mm-hmm. just, you, you just know it. Oh. Knowing, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Mm. When we think, one of the prime ways we think is words. Mm. We go into a dialogue mm. where we, we're we talking to somebody else, or we're talking to ourselves, and we go on and on and on. <laughs> and you get up some. some um, situation. And a situation comes up and that's clear. Mm. But then you have to describe it. Mm. And it can take an awful long time to describe mm. that. Yeah. Well, really, the whole thing one knows it all from the beginning right to the end. Mm-hmm. It's just a waste of time. Mm-hmm. But the kinetos want to describe it all. Mm-hmm. I mean, all the way around the house and describing it. Mm-hmm. So where is the kinetos? Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you go down into heart, all that, all those words stop. Words are one of the big problems. Mm-hmm. If the mind starts to, on some dialogue, one should be able to beat out the dumb ones from that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some dumb ones, some can get it. Mm. Doesn't matter what it is. Mm. You can search for the dumb one. Mm-hmm. One can swim from some of the other mm. I mean, even if there's a. Supposing there's been a bomb outrage somewhere, mm. and it's a bomb in a plane and so on, you can think about how the people in that plane, they died. They weren't expecting to. They don't want to speak this, they don't think about that sort of thing. Mm. They don't want to know. They don't think of the common one. And how her life is uncertain. Mm. No turn to them. Mm. So thinking about them, not like now. Yes, that's right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But if one's doing the practice, then not, no. no. Marty, then we shouldn't even do that. Because <laughs> no. that can also be a trick of the Kadesha. Yes. Mm. Mm. One method I found quite effective when people walk in Chong Kong and there's a lot of thoughts going on, mm. you try to get a knife and you say, cut. <laughs> mm. And then you, you you go down inside. You keep it there, and you watch. And what you watch for is any force arising, mm-hmm. anything arising, coming mm-hmm. like that. You keep a watch on it, and you you have to just watch to see that none of the escape to the world. Mm-hmm. You have to keep watching to see that the thoughts, mm-hmm. what thoughts mm-hmm. might be coming up. And when you find something coming up, you just say no, <laughs> just stop. Or cut. <laughs> well, the thing is, is there's the two methods: the method of cutting, like that, stopping the thing, mm-hmm. and the other method is to stand back and mm-hmm. let them come and go. They just go like crops of smoke. Mm-hmm. So they come up. All right, you let them come, but you, you don't take, you don't go after them. Yeah. The trouble is, when a thought comes up, the thought is mm-hmm. quite natural for thought, mm-hmm. but when you grab hold of them. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. used to say when, when we didn't have the wall here, he said the dogs are very good teachers. Because yeah. he said uh, in the kitchen, people they uh, they leave food about, they forget mm. things, leave them about. And the dogs go up and take them, and they, they tell them, look, you've not been careful. <laughs> So in order to know when to do what, and it's basically when, when one is able to stand back and let the thoughts run and that's the, yeah, the best thing is stop the thoughts. Yeah. Start with it anyway. Yes, yeah, to start. Yeah. But if you find they start coming and you can't stop them, mm-hmm. 
Okay, okay let him go, but don't but keep a watch. Keep a watch. And, and uh, don't get caught up in it. The trouble is getting caught up in it. It's the something intriguing comes up and then he will grab it and then starts off. And he runs on the <laughs> All these short thoughts were just like shadows. No substance in them. And yet they have a big effect on them. Create mm-hmm. stamina all the time. Yes, mm-hmm. they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. If one can stop the thoughts long enough and keep the power of going, uh, then if one gets calm, one will see the, how bad these thoughts are, and feel it, the damage that they do. The most, most, most damaging ones. Mm. And realize, oh, you know, this is not much better. Mm. That's good. Okay, so it's a positive power of thought. I, mean, I have that, I have feeling of jealousy coming up. Yeah. And what I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I'm okay, it's some sort of jealousy, and then I put the sort of mudita. Yeah. And it really changes my feeling, and and I can yeah, really correct. feel wisdom well, yeah. you know. And it gives really, it, it has an effect over time. I do it in some time now. Yeah, yeah. It really increases yeah. the jealousy, and I see sometimes the sort of mood that comes straight <laughs> after the jealousy. <laughs> so not that really. Uh, this is this is a method of Majima Patipada, mm. middle way. Mm. Mm. Because you get something going on the side of the chalices, mm. and you have to put something on the other side to mm. counteract it, and mm. it brings it back to the middle. Correct. Mm. Mm. Now, when talking about this kind of topic of talk, mm. the last one is Vimuti and Tasana. Mm. Is that the kind of approval of the Vimuti one has got? Mm. Now, what I understand that to be, it's the actual seeing of the Vimuti. Mm. The jnana, jnana is, uh, it's like panya, intuitive panya. Mm. It's the direct thing, it's knowing, direct seeing and knowing thing. And, or something that can, when jnana comes up, you know it absolutely. If it's something in a function, you know that function is either correct or wrong. Mm-hmm. Straight away, you can't say why. You know. Mm-hmm. And it's the, this is the, uh, the knowing that, knowing perfectly well that, that, uh, you must the freedom. Mm-hmm. Knowing it and mm-hmm. seeing it. So, and for the Arahant, this kind of unity and tasna is atrakayaya, so would be the unity and tasna yeah. of the... Yeah, the story of it. It's the Tum Ajahn, Tum Ajahn, Sing Thong. That's why all the visual Arahant doesn't have this pen. <laughs> they all look one, but no, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. that's the same. Oh, that's, you get to that, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be in Yama. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I mean, you, you can say that, uh, I suppose you could say really, you get, get fun Yama. And Panya village in the Indian Yana, when the mm. Panya becomes very strong. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But it's, it, 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 if I understand it rightly, it's that space going on knows, absolutely. Mm. No question about it, no. No. If it's if you're in the practice and something, some so something comes up, you know exactly what to do. Mm. No question, though. you don't have to sort of ask anybody, or you're not sure, or anything like that, but you know, it's what to do. But don't ask me why. Senator <laughs> 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 Dan, yeah, used to explain the words, he said, Dan, 
เองธรรมจักกับวันนิสุนเนี่ยเดบุตรากุกัดเอลไลท์เนี่ยจากคุณทพาธิจากคุณจุติยานังทพาธิปัญญาทพาธิเอาวิชาทพาธิเอาปูทพาธิที่ท่านเจริญเจริญสัจจะขึ้นมาเมื่อเราเก็บตัวก่อนนี่จะอินดิเคชั่นก็รับสติปัญญาที่ผมคุยกันนี่อินดิเคชั่นนี่ว่าจะรับมาไม่ได้ก็ได้แต่เพราะฉะนั้นฉันคิดว่าฉันเป็นคนที่มีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกนี้ฉันมีความสุ
Mm. And secondly, he is very skilled at putting it into um, mm. uh, it in the such a form that people can, can get it. Mm. But that only comes about because he really knows what he's talking about. Somebody who doesn't can't do it. Even mm. if they're skilled with language, they can't do it. But no need to when you call for some some uh, master who doesn't speak much like your department. Mm. It's just a few words on him or his silence <laughs> you know, can mean always answer things or suggest things. Uh, it's, it's the dangerous suggestion is you don't know what the person will pick it up with. Oh, yes. Different people will pick up a suggestion in different ways. Oh, yes. <laughs> it depends. And it's, it's, uh, it's always a difficulty of communication because we have within us our own ideas, our own, own understanding. We have our own experiences. Now, in the way we, we convey things by speech, we have to bring them out, bring them down to concepts, words, mm-hmm. and then we have to actually put it out as spoken words, mm-hmm. and there's a sound, mm-hmm. and they'll do to pick this up, and they then have to turn it mm-hmm. into whatever they will in their inside themselves. Mm-hmm. What happens is they take that word, and they then refer to Sanya to find out what their, their ideas about the word are in Sanya. Mm. Now it just depends what their background is, that's what they become. Mm. Yes. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> it's true. It takes, uh, it takes an hour hand to translate about an yeah. hand's work yes. or write about an hour hand. Yeah. I mean it's like, you can see it very easily, supposing feeling. How do you describe the feeling to someone else? All, all you can do is give some experience that brings that feeling about. You say a sharp feeling. Mm. Well, what you mean by that is feeling if you are if touched or hit by something sharp. Mm. But it's not the feeling, that, that's uh, an action external. Mm. Or a hot feeling. Again, you're, you're, you're contacted by something hot. Mm. Now, we, this is the only way we have of explaining to other people, and we have to rely on the other person picking up that and, and turning it into understanding. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I don't know, my own theory, which is only theory at this point, uh, <laughs> is that, that uh, if everything is unconditional mm-hmm. in Nirvana, mm-hmm. then at that level there's no difference between one person and another. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't say that there's a difference of people at that level. Mm-hmm. Because of that, at that level, understanding can be conveyed conveyed directly. Mm-hmm. But it requires somebody who's at that level to understand that. Mm-hmm. Other people might be able to get it in that way, but then you've got all this, all the difficulty of turning that into ordinary thought. Mm-hmm. And because there are killers there, mm-hmm. it is again distorted. Mm-hmm. So it takes people well, of different experience. It's a low way of explaining, which is ordinary huh? speech, and the high way, which is, mm-hmm. is, is mm-hmm. much much more accurate, but uh, it, it's unformed. Mm-hmm. And putting it into form can be more more damaging mm-hmm. than the ordinary way of speech. Mm-hmm. I mean, in ordinary speech, we use logic, uh, reason, uh, experience, memory. And um, well, there's a bit of a makeshift. It, it can gradually give results. Mm. But doing it the other way, uh, for the ordinary person, if they try that, they get a bit more from this. There's so much scope for the chelators to get in this trouble. And it probably, that's why we have our CP to cut all damage. Yes, yes, yes. Perfectly distortion. Yes, we have to have the basis. 
people in the old days, they have to take an arahant to, to make of it or to reveal it. There must be all arahants to do it. Take, take it uh, the first or the second? Uh, originally, maybe. Yeah. Later on, I think not. Later on, I'm sure there are a lot of scholars in the world, so there's all mixed things a bit in that. It's true. You get quicker sometimes, reversed on the end, it's got nothing to do with it. It's not so I just tacked it on, there's no way to put it. And yet it it must, it had to be a number of arahants, not only one person in in the in the history. Uh, at least one thousand or five hundred arahants to do the review. Yes, although um, must be double check, cross check. <laughs> yeah, fundamentally, was an under that Kerr brought out the uh, 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 most of it. Under uh, it was uh, Kasapa did the winner. Uh, 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 Ananda. Uh, no, Upali. 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 Was it Bali? I was in Castle. Maybe. So I'm under the, the yeah. sutras. The other drummer, I don't think, came into the sutras. That's the one who asked. Pretty much later. The sutras reviews are still alright because they're all in Anaheim. And some of them, the, the, the chairman or the chairman are uh, used but to be the novice, the Arahant novice in the day of the Buddha, and they can live longer yeah. until they are senior monks at that time. Well, Ananda lived to about 120 years old, I think. 120 years old. Something like that, yes. The same with the Dhamma as well. Depends the way the person is born. That's important. Yeah, I think it's the whole thing is just forming the lights and cars in the mind, which go into memory, and then it it it, it, it alters the memory, and mm. memory changes. It takes on new characteristics, mm. and uh, because of that, the person feels more security. It's really more, they become more confident in themselves. Mm. No person's confident in themselves. Lack of security, they don't matter so much. Mm. But if you don't feel um, very confident, and then in the beginning you try to set the confidence and lots of things change, I think there is a yeah. point where it can't be well, really. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to find balance. It, it varies a lot really on the character. Some people mm. need more confidence and more security than others. They need more settled environment. And, and usually, of course, it's the usual thing. The more a person wants a settled environment, the less it's necessary with them, <laughs> usually. Mm. And the, the uh, people who, who uh, want a lot of security, they're, 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 it's unnecessary for them. The people who, who need the security mm. are the ones who probably don't, don't think of it. Mm. Yes, I remember the feeling of insecurity will help for not, not to pass to anything. For not attachment. Yes, it can definitely lead to non-attachment. Well, I've got to get to that point mm. where one can start letting go of things. Well, that is not the point where one can let go, and it can do harm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like Chang like Chang Kao, he used to, when he went out to the forest, he'd uh, go to one place, and then in the middle of the night he'd sort of change his location for a meditation mm. practice. Stay there for a while, and then change again. Because mm. he found if he got used to a place, his calaces came up. Mm. And uh, this this sort of insecurity and the change all the time like that is helpful to him. Mm. Another person doing that, they 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 sort of be looking for ghosts or mm. um, wild animals, or snakes and tigers and all over the place. Mm. Mm. It, it can do any good. It's the 
same old thing we use. Once done as well in French. Mm. Then mm. all sorts of things which mattered before no longer matter. Because there's some inside it's yes. there's this um, it's, it's really um, the well, security and the satisfaction, the contentment's inside them, where it should, and then one, one doesn't acquire that security, mm-hmm. it's because it comes from oneself. Mm-hmm. Yes, this, this Sakaya Ditti thing has always seemed a bit of a puzzle people, uh, people are not mm-hmm. for everybody. Huh? Mm-hmm. Um, the thing is, what, what I see is the, the meaning is that the the view that I am this body is overcome. Mm. But it doesn't mean to say that the emotional reactions as though on this body have mm. been overcome. Mm. In other words, the person then accepts and knows perfectly well that this isn't this body isn't me. Mm. That's what I have to mean. Mm-hmm. Whereas at an army, we attack the good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when when does this kind of inner self confidence when does that arise? Like, confidence. This kind of inner security, this kind of inner um, or that basis. It grows. Mm-hmm. It can come quickly. Something happens. Some from some very strong event in practice can come quite quickly. Mm. Uh, otherwise it grows gradually, and the practice is what we need about. Mm. If practice is very strong, it goes very deep, then it can come quite quickly. Mm. But the, the uh, practice will bring it about, and one can't really uh, fix it at a level. But as the level goes higher, the stronger it gets, mm. so we can say. I mean, it, it, can, it starts with a level of getting into samadhi, getting some form of samadhi. Or even before that, so getting calm mm-hmm. helps the beginning. And it gradually builds up from that to the practice of getting to know more and more inside. And to getting to realize what, what it means inside. Mm-hmm. That in fact, the whole lot happens inside, it's all inside. Mm-hmm. And the, the more one gets gets of that, the more one sees that the world's like a lot of shadows, mm. and more confidence gradually grows. And what what really is happening is one's views changing. As one's views changing, one's ways of thinking change also. Mm. As a way of which the thinking change, so the the understanding in that percolates down to the chitta in the heart. And gradually the, the, the calaces, some of them anyway, have been undone. <laughs> and that brings more and more confidence. Confidence comes by destroying calaces. Mm. That's really what happens. When the calaces are there, one doesn't know because one's it's almost as though the five candles don't belong to one at all. They're, they're not under one's own control. Mm. They're under control of the calaces. Because of that, one doesn't feel confident. They know what they're going to do next. Mm. Um, well, once the calaces start getting pared down and get thinning, thinning them down, it, it becomes <coughs> more under one's own control. So though it's, it's sort of uh, more easy to control, more easy mm. to understand what's happening, and we feel more confident. We feel more, more integrated generally. What's the worst that can happen? Probably mm. the worst that can happen is I die. So I can't be reborn. So. <laughs> <laughs> As to being able to cope, I suppose I'm about to cope. It's all just changing sometimes. Isn't it? But I mean, one, one has to consider well, what, what, what could happen. Mm. Mostly, I mean, one survives. Mm. And, uh, it's, it's again, it's this, this young child. The young child that feels incompetent. incompetent. And well, we try to always get away from that one. Because we don't like the incompetent. We don't like to be competent. 
So this one, you can look at that child, so all right, that's the one who's got to develop, he's got to bring it up. That's the, the, the one who's got to turn into an adult, so it comes to. You <laughs> see, the overcoming of that incompetence, uh, it's, it's much easier if one doesn't have that hatred. Mm. That's, because, I mean, what happens is the incompetence of that, then up comes energy to try and overcome it. Mm. Well, the energy is not wrongly directed. Right? It just goes into all wrong ways. It just makes one gets into a tizzy. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> and the feeling of incompetence itself, is that coming from Kalesa too? Or is that the feeling of incompetence, the interpretation of it as incompetence, mm. yeah, that's Kalesa. But the actual state itself may not be. Probably Kama. It's Kama. Uh, uh, it may actually be a state of going inward. Sometimes it is. And you can't do very much in that state because you're going inward. And I mean, that, that may be the way into Samadhi. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 you see, the, the thing is that when you look at what we are and the way we act, circulation is coming up all the time, in all sorts of ways, and they're going out all the time, they're always going, going out, and out, and out, and they're seeing this, thing, and doing this, doing that, thinking about this person, thinking about that person, and this gives a person the feeling of being in charge, and being, being competent, being able. They know what's going on, they know this person's there, uh, this person's there, uh, this person's doing this, this person's doing that, and so on. And they, they, they feel that they're constant, but in fact this isn't the right thing, it's mm-hmm. absolutely wrong. This is just a, 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 a playground of the mm-hmm. Then one gets the one that just wants to go inside, and one can't think like that, so one feels incompetent. Mm-hmm. So it can very easily be the way it's just an here, because it's, it's, the, it's, it's going in that direction, which is away from the calaces. Mm. Mm. Like Donna Chan says, I mean, when, when people listen to a day they uh, they start feeling as though they're going to sleep, you know, and they think, oh, I'm just going to sleep and listen to the day to now. There you are, you see. They start getting a bit of calm, they break it all up. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the same thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They're going to get calm, they're going down inside gradually. Mm-hmm. And then they all think, oh, that's wrong, I shouldn't do that. They, they mm-hmm. make it all. Mm-hmm. But going inward is very important. Mm-hmm. I mean, the questions that are asked by people, as I say, in the meditation process, um, you can reckon that 90% of them are just the chitter going out. Mm-hmm. And so finding things to ask questions, or wanting to ask questions, or wanting to display themselves. Mm-hmm. It's very often the case. They want to display themselves. They want to show that they're clever. Mm-hmm. And yes, that's often the case. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're asking questions, but they're not mean very much. And if mm-hmm. one's doing a practice, mm-hmm. One will often find that one doesn't know what questions to ask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one sort of feels all the questions can be asked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there are questions there that can come up. Mm-hmm. And the less teacher's very good, sometimes you won't be able to answer them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know for, I know for myself, like, I rarely ask questions. Mm-hmm. There are some questions I could ask to the child and I would like to have asked him, but the thing is that I couldn't ask them because I didn't know the language well enough. Mm-hmm. Because some of the questions you need to know the language mm-hmm. very, very well to be able to mm-hmm. phrase it properly okay. mm-hmm. and say and explain what it means. Mm-hmm. But most of the questions, I mean, the ultimate question is I can answer myself. So, you know, mm-hmm. 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 And to ask questions of Thomas Ryan and Mr. Schreer was a waste of time, a waste of his time. 
but the understanding of one's self and one's kilesa is difficult because the kilesa is so integrated with what one thinks of as oneself. Mm. And this self, kilesa self, uh, this is really an imposter. Mm. I mean, you think of those people asking those questions and what's coming out going out like an imposter. Mm. That one. Mm. One is asking those questions. Because it's, it's making out that it's something that isn't. Mm. It's making out that it's a permanent self. Mm. It's not. Mm. It's an mm. <laughs> Now, if a real question comes up, it comes up from inside himself. Mm. There's something there we need mm. to know. Mm. Important. I kind of tell you, the other uh, said that uh, I want to look at them when they are reading English books. So yeah. I asked him, what it is, am I reading books that is not Tama? <laughs> and, then, and then when I just said, oh, there's Tama in the chat, there's Tama in the book. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 To see the dumb mind thing, you've got to be in it, go in it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, if, if you read something and you're, you're looking in it, then you see your own state and how it's modified by that. Mm. And then you see the, you see the process taking place. Mm. Mm. I mean, they're, they're what's there if you're reading. Mm-hmm. Just black marks on white paper. So, <laughs> so it is. Mm. But it's usually the sankharas and memory and sankharas mm-hmm. we, we derive a meaning from them. Mm-hmm. It's just so interesting when one looks at, at a completely different alphabet like Tibetan or the, the yeah. Thai yeah. character. At first it's just, it's just some kind of blank yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then after a while it becomes an A or an oh, yeah. T yeah. or D. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It can be, I, I find really interesting yes. to watch the process. In fact, it's, it's worth uh, looking also. I suppose you get something in, in English or German. Mm. Trying not to read it. Mm. You, you can't. It just yeah. comes up straight away like that. Mm. It's automatic. Mm. Um, I and mean, you just see it immediately the sounds there. Mm. Mm. It's because that goes in through sight and memory. Mm searches for that and doesn't have to go very far. Mm. First is the books. Learning from the books. Second is thinking about looking at that. Mm. And third is the actual world mm. mm. and so on, physical experience. Mm. I mean, the books are very valuable, they're useful. But um, it, it, it's like they say in Zen, but really practice, that you shouldn't rely on books. Mm. Uh, one should use them without relying on them. That's usually happens when, when they say that, they make more books than anybody else. <laughs> mm. It's like math. Huh? It's like math. Uh-huh. Yeah. math. Yeah. Sometimes the math is wrong. <laughs> when you yeah. go out, you will see. Yeah. 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 It does not appear. But also, yeah. even if it's right, although you can see the map here, you can't recognize it. Mm-hmm. When you look at the ground, you can't recognize it. You can't see it. Right now, right? Mm-hmm. Unless you're <laughs> sure the map reading, mm-hmm. you will look all. So, is this, is that hill this one? Is yeah. that one there? Or which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you this, how much, how much I should actually read at the moment? Or I should be a bit completely or... But you should assess how does it affect your practice. Mm. Uh, generally speaking, that the amount one needs to read is probably not too much, not very much. Mm. If one's developing the developing panya, reading may help more. Mm. Uh, 
มันจะต้องทวนจึงสมาธิฉันจะสมาธิใช่ไหมใช้ก็การที่จะทำนี่ก็จะคือทำทุกข์ไปที่โอเคแล้วจะดูการทำการทำนู้นให้ตัวอุ้มไปยังเสือชัวร์ได้คือทุกข์รักใจที่เป็นวัตถุที่ไหลไปคุณไม่ได้ต้องการแล้วเดี๋ยวเราจะทำแบบนี้แล้วเราต้องใช้วิธีนี้ทำแบบนี้แล้วเราต้องใช้วิธีนี้ทำแบบนี้ And you 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 know roughly the direction you should be going, but sometimes you find find a thick forest in front of you, and you have to skirt around that, t r y i n g to bash straight through it. That's just not the right way. <laughs> and it's much the same with Kavatana. You you you've got the general direction, and one knows the general direction one should be going in. But at any one time, you might find that 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 uh, that uh, some blockage is there, and you've got to find some way around it. Mm-hmm. So search for the coming method of being overcoming it. What do you mean by blockage? Uh, typically, you get people, for example, that try and practice in samadhi. They work at the kamatana, say on the k a m a n They come to a point where they don't seem to get any further, you know, or maybe it's wrong practice. But they do b u t h o l d They come to the same part, point, mm. and they don't get any further. Mm. And they try another practice. Same thing happens. Mm. Well, and if the person reviews that carefully, they will see, oh, I see, this is. Is this something in me? It's not the practice. Mm. So no, they've got to take one practice, and they've got to find a method of so just going on doing it mm. and getting at it. And how they've got to find a method of keeping that practice going mm. uh, until they break through that block. Mm. That's all. t h i n And another time, I may be feeling. Uh, The whole, you know, everything is insipid, mm. insipid, uh, just calm, mm. uh, tasteless. No, no tasteless. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, like me to that too. Things, things are all insipid, and you can't really get any enthusiasm or anything. Mm. Well. So I have to know to the k i l a s and you have to think, well, what can I do to overcome this? So maybe you read something, mm. find something to read that is which is inspiring, which mm. helps mm. one, mm. and that can help one overcome this. If you want to be enthusiastic, mm. something like that. Mm. Get all sorts of things coming, and find the right method mm. to overcome it. Mm.